business owners your biggest responsibility is protecting your business and not your ego the reason i'm saying this is actually one of you sent me a dm um telling me to talk about this um, and how businesses handle angry customers because what happened was there was this client who was unsatisfied with a product she received from a business so she went on twitter to rant about it and then the friends of the business owner came at her so they started telling her oh stop um hanging your dirty linen in public oh you should have just given like they really really attacked this customer who was giving feedback and so it became a whole lot of drama and this is the first time i've seen it happening so it's actually about time i did this video and so that we see you as a business owner how do you handle such and even you as a customer how do you go about complaints and everything so that at the end of the day at least everyone can be happy Hi everyone, my name is Miriam. Welcome to my channel for weekly social media marketing and entrepreneurship tips, tricks and tools. If you're new here, thank you for choosing to watch my video today. If you're a regular, thank you for choosing to watch yet another video and I hope the new ones and the regulars have subscribed. So we're going to go straight into it. Um, if you own a business and a customer comes complaining to you in public, I highly, highly suggest that you be very, very careful with how you're going to deal with this customer because people are watching you. So we'll take that example of this customer who went on Twitter and talked about this business, um, just showed how dissatisfied she was with the product that she received. And then the friend attacked the customer. And the owner also didn't really handle it well because I think he felt like, you know, he had the backup. So he could say whatever it is that he wanted to say to this customer um, without the fear of people coming at him because he already had the backup. Um, but let me tell you, if you're a business owner and a customer comes complaining to you in public, I'm not saying that um, that's the best avenue to use, but if you're a business owner, please think of your business, not of your ego first. Think about your business first. And by thinking about your business, what I mean is handle that issue the best way possible because people are watching. So what happened in that scenario was, for example, someone like me, and I've seen that business before, and I was actually talking to my friends and we came to this conclusion. We'd never buy from that business because one, I don't know why this person went on Twitter to rant about it. So I don't know whether they had even talks on the DMs and everything. I don't know. But maybe when she raised her complaints in the DM, she didn't feel satisfied with her just handled. So she was like, let me just go to the public whatever avenue and raise my issues that maybe I'm going to be listened to there. So we, my friends and I asked ourselves, okay, so what happens in the case that um, this guy doesn't respond to our DMs if we are not satisfied? What happens? Because now you can't complain publicly because everyone is going to come after you. So please, and even you as friends of the business owners, instead of attacking your friend's customers talk to your friend and remind them but they people are watching so be the bigger person and you know we've had this whole conversation of oh why should you always be the bigger person but for your business your source of income please be the bigger person always remind yourself that at the end of the day this customer since you're not a monopoly is going to go to someone else you you're losing customers and potential customers because you let your ego overtake your love and concern for your business so always always protect your business so if someone came to you and told you and they came publicly and told you that they are not satisfied with their item do you know the way restaurants ask for for numbers it happens a lot here in kenya and we're all like oh but you never respond or dm you like deal with it here so the first thing is one you can tell them kindly assist with your number and make sure that you call make sure that you call and listen to this customer so if you decide to go that route so make sure you call listen to this customer do not interject them when they are talking just listen to them let them complain and complain and complain and after that Please remind yourself to remain calm. Do not yell, even if they are wrong, because customers are not always right. Because only so customers right know they are not always. And I mean, we all know they are not. So just remain calm, even if they are not right. <laughs> just remain calm. And after that, try and make sure that 
they know that you understand exactly what the issue is so tell them oh sorry the shoe that what you're saying is um the boot that you got had a dental in touch with size and the size that you told you online is not the correct size written in the boot blah blah they're like yeah, yeah that's the issue and then now you apologize and you tell them thank you for feedback for giving you the feedback because i always tell my customers thank you so much for the feedback and then after that come up with solutions don't leave the customer to be the one to come up with solutions because they come up with crazy solutions so you come up with the solution so you tell the customer so we have two options one i can give you i can exchange for you also the delivery cost blah 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 or number two i can give you a refund whatever it is that you want just give them the solutions because they want to see they have solutions one thing you realize with customers most of them complain because they want to be heard they haven't even really thought of solutions and that's why when you ask them for solutions they give you crazy solutions because they didn't actually take time to sit down and think of what they want they were so angry so they decided to go online and just talk about this business and how bad the service was or how bad the product was i want to remind you that we are all human so if you're a customer i want to remind you that even the person handling the business, the person running the business is human. We are not perfect. There's no single human being is perfect. So this goes to those friends who are saying, no, but this person always has good ABC, the product. So you, you're the one who's creating a scene here for no good reason because as we know, this person has a good product. So this person is not perfect. So it's very possible that by the time this person was um, providing this product or the, making the delivery, they were not in the best of state. So, it, and it's okay. It, it's very, very much okay. The moment you realize that these people are human, you'll be a bit patient. You will come to understand that just because I received a good service from this particular company, does not guarantee that everyone is going to receive the same service. So, for example, like my sister, there's this bank that I bank with, um, and I mean, I like it. The service that I got was good, and so she wanted to open a new account and when she went there the service was terrible so we have two completely different experiences and mind you it was the same branch two different experiences and that's because human beings are not at a hundred every single day things happen so for her when she talks about that bank she has nothing good to say and i don't blame her personally i have something good to say because that's the service that i experienced but hers was completely different in fact i was extremely surprised and disappointed on her behalf so i don't have the right to tell her no you don't who's being petty because me that's not the kind of service i received no it's because you also realize that nothing is as long as something is being handled by human beings who are imperfect nothing is going to be perfect you definitely guaranteed that you're going to expect some so it's you not to decide even as a business owner so how do you handle the days that you make mistakes you listen to your customers please don't find the need to go talking to your friends and asking your friends to give you backup be the bigger person always for your business choose your business first regardless of anything choose your business first if you decide to handle this thing in public please make sure that you're very careful with how you do it make sure that you don't argue with that customer and i know whatever i'm asking you to do sounds very impossible because again we're human beings we have emotions and everything but it's actually very very possible please make sure that you handle them very very well because other people are watching and you realize have you ever argued with someone or yelled at someone and that person was so calm they didn't insult you back they didn't raise their voices back or whatever what happened you immediately turned down so that's what's going to happen if you listen to your customers and remain calm you'll realize the process of um sorting that whole issue is going to be very very simple because you calmed down and so they immediately calmed down because of that because no one can insult someone who's never insulted them back so if i insult you and then you become rude you're going to make me even you know worse and then i'm going to find a reason to insult you more and more and i'm going to be like that's what she said that's what she said you know how arguments turn out but imagine if you insult me and i don't talk or if i insult you and you're like i'm sorry about it you will immediately calm down always remember to remain calm it's going to be hard i have been there it's going to be so hard but let me tell you the truth the moment you do that you know it's a muscle that you need to build it really is a muscle and that doesn't mean that you don't get angry i mean that customers who've made complaints and they got so angry but they didn't even know it how i handled it no but me deep down when i'm typing i'm just like 
but they couldn't see it they couldn't even tell that is how i was feeling because again i chose my business over my ego so don't try and argue to make sure that you're right something else that you need to do explain yourself also it's not coming up with excuses really it's just explaining the situation so that they also see oh they didn't do this intentionally so for example if let's say i pack the wrong boat i can just say i'm really really sorry maybe we were extremely overwhelmed thank you for pointing it out we'll make sure that doesn't happen again we'll be you know keen and everything next time so acknowledge what happened tell them what happened on your end because they are human something else if your customers come to complain to you either on text call or even dms make sure that you handle them really well that way they won't find the need to go public about this issue because some customers the reason they go public is because they felt unheard they felt like you are not sorting this issue um in the dms on text or in person even you are not setting it well so they're going to shame you because they know the moment the issue is out there people are going to see and you will feel the pressure to respond so instead of letting it get to that point how about you make sure that you respond everything to those customers and imagine you won't find a lot of customers finding it easier to talk to you in public to tell you stuff in public instead of sending a dm my camera went off so i'm really sorry for any changes in light and everything else anyway as i was saying in how you handle a customer that has given you negative feedback has a lot of influence on what happens next so this customer might be very very satisfied with how you handle her or him when they have an issue and they will come back for sure if they're satisfied and remember word of mouth is still the most powerful marketing tool so they're going to tell their friends about this good experience trust me they'll probably enjoy their customer journey even if they had issues as long as it was sold well they probably enjoy their customer journey in your business more than they did with another business that probably didn't even give them issues just because of how you handled their issues or they can decide to leave and talk bad about your business and that's not what you want for your business so please um, when you have a customer who's bringing negative feedback please think of the consequences of your action first and not try do their pros and cons ask yourself okay if i listen to this person and i'm nice to them versus if i yell at them and tell them okay you can go look for another business to give you the same product or service what happens to my business that way you realize that it's easier choosing your business over your ego just simple questions will help you assist this customer the best way. now i'm going to talk to you customers customers business owners are human just like you are and because they are human they are imperfect just like you are and because of that their businesses are not perfect because an imperfect thing cannot create a perfect thing so for sure their businesses will make mistakes at some point so what you do is please talk to them privately if you can first especially for small businesses they're not overwhelmed you see big businesses and big companies most of them outsource um, customer service representatives but now for small businesses mostly it's their owners and their small team that will handle the customers so it's very easy for you to reach them it's very easy for you to even reach the business owner because if you make a complaint it's very easy for one of the employees to tell the owner but hey, customers are complaining about this so talk to them privately you can call them for sure their calls will go through faster than big companies you can text them they will respond you can send them dms they don't have a million dms to respond to so it will be very easy for them to respond of course if it is within working hours so use that channel first and then now if you don't get your issue resolved now you can go public but of course there are instances where you have to go public so if it's racism if it's assault such things you have to go public because that one it doesn't matter whether you are imperfect such things are not condoned but if it's something as simple as a mistake in your order you really don't have to go public about it you can always send them a dm and hopefully business people please uh, yeah i'm trying to help you when your customers send dms please respond and give them solutions and try and solve their issues as fast as possible in the dms don't push them to taking these issues public customers sometimes if you go through um, the pages and you can see there's barely any negative feedback 
and you you have negative feedback to give it's probably just a mistake that happened when your order was being processed or when that person was handling your business so it's just that a mistake so please remember sometimes honestly they didn't do it intentionally that times business owners just make mistakes because we're not free from mistakes so that times businesses will just make mistakes so just go to their dms talk to them and hopefully they're going to respond but if they don't please feel free to go public so that all the businesses learn the importance of dealing with customers and being okay with taking negative feedback thanks so much for watching um i hope businesses are going to learn from this i hope also customers are going to learn from this i hope friends to business owners are going to learn from this um, i will see you here next tuesday as usual i hope your dreams and goals will come to pass have a lovely week Bye bye